Welcome back, everybody, to the 2018 Grand Finals War of the Ring game. This is turn four. And here, we see them draw a couple new cards. A ring is missing, which is, will give a tile to the Track and Mordor. A new power is rising, one of the best cards in the game. A power too great, and Wizard Staff. Both also very good defensive cards. The Fellowship changes Guide into Aragorn, hoping to hide the Fellowship after not rolling character decks for so long. Jason allocates one eye, gets another one eye to the hunt box, and he rolls a Will of the West. Again, no character die, perhaps unless he changes the Will of the West. Uses Aragorn's ability to hide the Fellowship. Jason moves the Sutherlings down one. Here the Fellowship uses another ring to change it to character to separate Gandalf. Where will Gandalf go? He goes into the hills. Here, the Jason plays the new powers rising, recruiting two units in each of an Isengard settlement. Here, the Fellowship uses uh, Will of the West to change Gandalf into Gandalf the White. Here, Shadow moves two army, one from North Dunlin to Moria, and then one to the Gap of Rohan. Fellowship passes. And here, Isengard sets an attack on Rohan from Orthanc. Here, the Shadow deals out two hits and advances his entire army into the Fords of Isen, thus activating and pushing down Rohan 1. Here, Rohan moves his army from Westmint into Helm's Deep hoping to stall the army. Here he moves and decides to take over Westmint. Moves the entire army. Oh, nope. Does some maneuvering here. And here he covers the entire Rohan region. And here he's attacking Helm's Deep. Which he usually standardly just goes back to the stronghold. And the f new round begins. Hopefully the Fellowship can roll some more eyes. Or they're going to end up being stuck on the second track from Rivendell. Very nice. He rolls, finally rolls some character. He uses the first one to move the Fellowship. Doesn't roll a hit. Here he... The Shadow moves all Nazgul. And then attacks Edoras with the Witch King. Plays a card. Since when the Witch King's in battle, on the first battle, if you play a card, you get to draw a card. Shadow plays Foul Stench, canceling the Free People Leader reroll, so I guess it was just kind of a bluff. And the Free People play Ents Rage, which adds two to his combat die. So hit, he'll hit on threes. Jason misses all his hits, and Peter gets two hits. Peter decides not to downgrade an Elite. Plays Axe and Bow to probably prevent some hunt damage. Here he attacks Helm's Deep one, once more. No card. And they both add two to his combat roll. And Jason rolls quite a few hits. Three hits. And Peter rolls two.
here he moves the Sutherlings finally to war and moves Gondor to war. Here he tries to move along, moves and tries to uh, make a defensive movement here, preventing the Isengard army from moving into Gondor. He's deciding how many to move in. Uses a ring to do an army movement. Oh, what a cheeky play. He tries to retake Rohan with his Gondor army. Let's see if he can do it. Here he recruits five units in the east. And the new round begins. Mason allocates the one eye. And the Fellowship finally gets a pretty decent roll again. First move, he recruits a Gondor elite into Minas Tirith. And here, the Sauron moves into Osgiliath, preparing a siege onto Minas Tirith. Recruits another elite in Minas Tirith. Plays a card. Here the shadow gets to draw Huntile. Zero damage reveal. Here he recruits a leader and a regular. In the fold and into Minas Tirith. Here he recruits two elites in Orthanc with Saruman's ability. Well, I guess he tried to move, but he forgot he was revealed. He hides the fellowship. Recruits another elite in Orthanc. Attacks Pelagir from with the Sutherling army here. No card. He rolls one hit, and Peter rolls no hits. Here he moves the Southern Army to Lord's Lambden towards Dal Amroth. Peter moves the Fellowship. No hits. And here he'll finally besiege Dal Amroth. It's going to be a new round, draws new cards, and he's over the hand limit of six, so he's going to have to discard one. The two new cards he's drawn was the Shadow Lengthens, which lets him to move two armies, two spaces, as long as they end up with another army. Orc Patrol, which lets him to draw a Huntile if they are not in a Free People Settlement. The Free People has help unlooked for, which allows him to attack a besieged stronghold and then there and back which is a very good card which I don't know if he'll be able to use but we'll see since they are he is very close to the dew line it could be an option he draws two more cards and discards there and back again which he does not want to go for that strategy and the Help Unlooked For card. Opting for a certain ship, which recruits two of an elites in Dal Amroth, probably. And there is another way. He's going straight for the Fellowship. Again, allocates only one eye, rolls one eye. Musters a Gondor regular, or a Gondor leader, and a Rohan regular into the fold. Musters an elite. Northank moves the fellowship. Sauron does not get a hit on the hobbits. He attacks Helm's Deep. Or what is he doing? Oh, yeah, he's attacking Helm's Deep. Decides to play a card. Both armies add plus one. 
he gets a hit. And the Isengard fall, or the Rohan regular falls and Helm's Deep falls to Isengard. Giving him four points. Five points. Including Pilar Gear and Dale. Here, the Shadow plays a card, hoping to draw a good tile. He draws a three damage, tough. Draws a random, decreasing damage by one, and then one from Axe and Bow, so dealing one damage to himself. And he'll be able to separate Mary. And he'll move him with Gandalf the White. Oof. Plays the Day Without Dawn, discarding his Will of the West die. Moves two armies. The Eastern Army into the Dwarf Nation. And reconciles the nation, the army in Helm's Deep. Oh, this card. The Fellowship plays Dane Iron Foots Guard, which recruits an elite and a regular into Erebor, making it not very tempting to take without recruiting more units. The uh, Shadow Player plays a card using a Mustard Die, recruiting two Sauron units in Moria, two elite units at that. Here he will muster the dwarves down one. And a new round will begin after besieging Erebor. And they draw. Rage of the Dundalings and Gron, Hammer of the Underworld, which is similar to the Isengard card version of this, which allows him to do three rounds of siege combat. Rage of the Dundlings, also a very good recruitment card. Allocates the one eye, since he doesn't think the Fellowship will reach the Crack of Doom anytime soon, which I agree with him. He decides to move all Nazgul, hoping to take some strongholds quickly. He'll attack Dal Amroth. And he'll play a card. And he'll inflict some damage on himself. And he'll inflict two damage on himself, so he'll, he'll be hitting on fours. Nice, he gets two hits. So does the Fellowship. He chooses to downgrade an elite to keep attacking. No card, no cards. He rolls that one hit, which is needed. Peter does not roll a hit. Now he is total at seven points. Wait, where will he get his next three points at? The Fellowship moves and draws an eye. For one hit, reveal Pippin. Decides to go to the Old Force Road, which might. Oh, plays Grand in Erebor. Hopefully, he does. That was a good choice. He doesn't have that many units in here. He rolls zero hits. And the Fellowship rolls zero hits as well. They'll separate Strider, Legolas, and Boromir from the Fellowship. Looks like going for an all out military victory. They'll attack Minas Tirith from Osgiliath. Here the Fellowship will play a card. 
wizard is never late. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Nice little sound clip from the Java client. Ah, and Fellowship plays the Dead Men of Dunharrow, the card that he drew from the very beginning. This allows him to transfer an army to Pelagir, Lambden, or Lossanark. Let's see where he go. Where is he going? He goes to Pelagir, recruiting three people here. And a chance to get Aragorn. He decides to crown Aragorn, so if these three units fall, both of his die will lose, which will eventually, essentially just costing him the game. Let's see if luck is on his side. No eyes added to the hunt box. And a whole bunch of character die finally moved. They use his only muster to recruit an elite in Pelagir. Shadow will play a card. He will recruit five regulars and a Nazgul in Minas Morgul. The Fellowship recruits another Gondor elite in Pelagir. This is turning out to be a really big army. He decides to move some armies around. Fellowship is deciding if he wants to pass or not. And... Looks like Jason had some trouble and had to reconnect. He hides the fellowship. Here, Jason moves Nazgul to where the fellowship is to make. Oh, really doesn't want him moving. Oh, here. The Fellowship does a field battle in Minas Tirith, since there's, there's only one guy here. No card. Peter rolls a hit. And so is Jason. It looks like there's having some connection issues again. Something's going on here. Oh, maybe they're just recruiting some. And Minas Morgul. Rolls for the roll hunt. He does not find him. Here the shadow plays a card. Moves two armies, two spaces, as long as they end with another army. It looks like... Pelagir will not stand up. Peter decides to move into Lambden, probably possibly to escape. Jason uses a ring to move two armies. And a new round begins. The Shadow draws Corsairs of Umbar, which is a little bit too late, but the combat effect is very good. He also draws a Lidless Eye if the Fellowship ever make it to Mordor. Speaking of Mordor, the Fellowship draws the Spirit of Mordor, which allows him to roll five dice, score a hit on five plus on any mixed army, and a negative minus one Hunt Tile, which will be put into the bag if he ever reaches Mordor.
decent rolls by both players. Maybe a little bit too many Palantir dice on both sides. Here, Peter recruits a Rohan regular and a Gondor regular in Lambden and in the fold. Plays a card, which adds a Hunt tile to the box. Here, Jason wants to attack Minas Tirith. And he adds the Deadly Strife card. Both armies will add two to the dice. Jason rolls three hits. Peter will hit on all four of his dice. Three remaining in Minas Tirith, and he will not elongate the stronghold by downgrading. He'll draw for his Witch King ability. Fellowship will play a card, recruiting another Rohan leader and a Rohan elite in the fold. That army is starting to be really big, and if he doesn't deal with it soon, he might find himself out of all these strongholds in Rohan. The Shadow player will play another card, adding a red hunt tile into the bag when he, the Fellowship reaches Mordor. The Fellowship moves. He does not find the Hobbits. Jason will play another card, Cruel Weather, moving him back another region. Oh, losing track. That must be frustrating. Here, he recruits another Elite into the fold. Here, he recruits a Regulars into Minas Morgul. And the Fellowship plays a Power Too Great. This means the Shadow cannot attack Lorien, Rivendell, or the Grey Havens without first discarding a card, two cards, an army, and a character, and discarding one dice, or one die. And it also moves the Elves down one, which is really nice. Here, Jason attacks Minas Tirith once more. No cards. He rolls one hit. Peter rolls zero hits. Two people left. And now the, the Rohan Gondor army marches south. Nice. The Shadow army moves, recruits another in Minas Morgul and North Dunland. The Shadow draws two new cards, Shadows Gather, moves one army up to three regions, and Cattle of Corpses, which can add damage to the Fellowship. Well, man, the Fellowship draws Riders of Theoden, which will allow him to recruit another Rohan elite and leader, and the Challenge of the King, which will eliminate some eye tiles if he draws them. Finally attacks with Legolas, this huge army, into Minas Tirith. He plays no card, and the Shadow will play Words of Power, which will negate the Companion's leadership. And the Shadow will play three less. Jason rolls three hits. And he moves an army, taking back Minas Tirith. The Shadow play a Shadow's Gather card, moving one army up to three spaces, reinforcing Osgilia. Good move. Musters two regulars, one in Rohan, one in Gondor. He'll play a card, perhaps corrupting the Hobbits. Who? Two hits are added to the Fellowship. 
bringing him to seven. Fredo does not feel good right now. The Fellowship recruits another two regulars in the fold and in Minas Tirith. Or actually not in Minas Tirith and Lambden. Here the shadow attacks. Looks like they retreat. The Fellowship recruits another elite. Oh my god. Peter is doing very well in terms of military fellowship. Not so much. He is excellent at being annoying. The Shadow Player Jason recruits two regulars in Minas Morgul and Dolgador. Here and here. Here the Peter recruits one elite in the fold. And Jason moves with the Witch King attacking the fold. He's tired of him recruiting so many units there. Jason rolls one hit. Peter rolls two hits. The Fellowship moves Gandalf, some characters around. Moves Mary and a bunch of stuff. So what ends up happening, Gandalf starts defending the fold and Aragorn, Shri Aragorn Boromir and Mary are in Lambden. Yeah, even Jason mentions this. Gondor and Rohan being this active is a rare sight to see. It looks like the Witch King retreats back into Osgiliath, fearing Gandalf and his massive army. Man, we are now on turn 12 of this game, which I think I might cut it off here, and I'll see you in part 3.